what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the inevitable end of youtube now for the past five years or so people have been throwing around the term too big to fail with regards to youtube saying that it's really the only good video sharing platform out there it's really the only way uh to get you know make money from creating uh videos and and posting them on the internet other platforms have tried to dethrone youtube such as you know uh, facebook has has blown up in terms of sharing video content and paying their content creators um, we've also seen things like vimeo come and go of course vimeo is still around but it, they've totally shifted their business model to something totally different and that leaves us us here in 2019 where most people who would consider themselves youtubers are more fed up than ever with the platform it doesn't take much digging to realize that most youtubers are unhappy with the platform for a variety of reasons now i have and i know of an alternative to youtube that i'm going to be talking about later but first i want to identify the biggest problems with the platform at the moment uh one of which being clickbait now clickbait has been around for a long time but if you look it's actually gotten worse and worse and worse every single year i mean videos have gone from being misleading to outright deceptive um, over the last five years again clickbait has always been a thing um, but it's just gotten so incredibly intense lately and i think that one of the biggest um uh, one of the biggest examples of this is the the whole J Station and uh, Etika situation. This happened a couple weeks ago. Uh, you know, rest in peace, Etika. But he ended up passing away, and J Station um, made a video talking about a Ouija board and contacting Etika and whatever the case is. And and he this isn't the first time he's made a video like that. And I know that his video was supposed to uh you know be clickbaity so that way people would click on it and then he would say good things and have people donate to the cause or whatever i get i see what he was trying to do he executed it incredibly poorly and he does not have the ability to explain himself very well he speaks poorly he he can't get across his ideas so i see what he was trying to do but he failed miserably and he learned the hard way that he's an idiot but we've gotten to a point where you know he felt that he needed to title his video in that manner he felt that he needed to put the thumbnail that he did and he's not really wrong right like those types of videos get the most views even though he, nothing in the video involved a ouija board or contacting etika or anything like that obviously that's all fake um so we've gone from you know misleading thumbnails and titles to complete deception and complete lie of what the video is actually about it's a lie it's a full-on lie and people have kind of started to accept it now that we've gone so far down the clickbait rabbit hole what is next where could we possibly go from here right because everybody seems to be continuing to outdo each other in terms of making you know clickbait outrageous content and this is again you know we can look at the paul brothers and say well you know that's kind of why they blew up because they have just the most outrageous content ever and when you get to a point where you you can only be so deceptive and so misleading with your thumbnails and your titles before you get to a point where there's nowhere else to turn and the only other option is to actually do the things that your thumbnails and your title suggest because that's what's going to separate um in the future right and i would i would say it's starting now where you know we've gotten so insanely clickbaity that everything out there is just just riddled with clickbait that we're at a point we're at like a tipping point where okay now there's so much that the only stuff that's going to actually continue to rise is the stuff that actually delivers on the ridiculous outrageous claims so we've gone from having entertaining videos posted on youtube to entertaining videos that are posted with clickbait thumbnails and titles to then it's average videos posted with insanely clickbaited titles and thumbnails and the next step is insane content that delivers on the insane promise of the clickbaited thumbnail and title and that makes sense right that's the natural next step is that the people that will rise above all all of this fake clickbait garbage the only people that will rise above are the people who are actually delivering on what that clickbait is and there's a huge problem with this because 
a lot of the content that people would have to make in order to deliver on their clickbait promises violates YouTube's terms and conditions, right? Like anything that says gone sexual can't actually go sexual on YouTube. It can't, right? So all of that stuff gone garbage it's not gonna last in the future of youtube and really when you look at a lot of the most successful clickbait uh what you're gonna notice is that a lot of that stuff violates youtube's terms and conditions you can't actually post a lot of the stuff that people are claiming to post uh, it with within their you know thumbnails and titles and things like that and that brings me to the second nail in the coffin for youtube right so the first one is content creators are gonna actually have to start delivering on their outrageous uh claims because if they don't somebody else will that's the first problem and and the, the problem is that people eventually can't do it they can't actually deliver because it's just going to be too insane for youtube the second nail in the coffin is advertisers and get, getting money from from ad revenue now for the longest time youtube has kind of sustained itself by um big companies putting funneling their money into google adwords and that you know they can have video promotions on youtube it's obviously youtube's owned by google so it all comes together pretty nicely and a lot of these companies medium companies as well um, but also large corporations funneling millions and millions of dollars into the platform at, and in, in the form of advertisement ad revenue right you know being shown in front of or during youtube videos we've seen multiple quote-unquote ad apocalypses is that the pl plural of apocalypse of apocalypse whatever it seems like every few months now there is a quote-unquote ad apocalypse where a bunch of big investors who spend a lot of money on ad revenue or on ads on youtube pull back because of some random controversy right that we've been seeing this over and over again and every time youtube's response is to you know tighter 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 grasp on the types of content that can be posted on the platform and the problem is that grasp is going to get so tight and there's going to be such a small amount of acceptable family-friendly content that can be posted on the platform that no people aren't going to have the creative freedom to do what they want right because you know unfortunately uh people can't do, be creative full time without income right you you have to pay the bills you have to pay for your electricity and your rent and things like that so in order to be a full-time content creator there has to be some monetary incentive right so unfortunately money is part of 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 the equation as much as i wish i could just say well you know creative people are going to stick around because they don't do it for the money and whatever but in reality a lot of people are going to leave if there's no way for them to sustain their livelihood they're going to have to get a job right like that's just the reality of it so what's going to happen is every single adpocalypse makes youtube tighten its grip more and more and more on the types of content that content creators can post to the platform and the problem with that is it's unsustainable right it's unsustainable because there's always going to be some sort of controversy that happens and the reason for that is because people like controversy i mean you could just look at drama alert like that channel exploded and it continues to rise because people like controversy people like drama and things are controversial and dramatic when they cross a certain line and that line is one that advertisers don't want you to cross right because they don't want to be involved big brands established companies don't want to be involved in controversy right so there's actually a conflicting interest here between what's good for youtube and its creators and what people want versus what advertisers want right and i'm going to try and put some sort of graphic on the screen to illustrate my point but in case i don't or i forget there's there's let's say this is the amount of content right this is the amount of content that advertisers deem is acceptable right um and that's fine right like ad friendly family friendly stuff there's an audience for that that's totally cool i get that but this is the amount of stuff that people like so there's a small little section and they overlap right because people accept family friendly content it's fine it's not for everybody but you know disney is successful for a reason right because everyone can enjoy toy stories 4 right older people young people it doesn't matter it's family friendly it's great you know it overlaps advertisers love it brands love it it's fine um however there's all this other stuff that people want to watch right there's all this other potential content that youtube has actually you know blocked off the platform either by legitimately removing the the channels and the accounts 
or by like kind of shadow banning or soft banning them by not putting them in the search results and effectively making them invisible on the platform so those people will never grow right so like for example you're not going to see another filthy frank it's just not going to happen that's over now right like that is outside the realm of youtube's tight grasp on its content creators so as youtube continues to choke out its its content creators what's going to happen is there's going to be so many people who are on the platform who are panicking to maintain their livelihood that they're going to start making family friendly content they're going to shift what they're doing and start to make family friendly content and we're already seeing this i mean look at pewdiepie's channel he's changed it dramatically over the years you look at pretty much any content creator who's been around for more than like four years and their content has changed since then i'm a tiny content creator and i don't curse in my videos anymore in terms of like like heavy curse words i don't say them on my channel anymore because i know that it will ruin my chances of ever growing any bigger than i am now so everybody is gonna panic and try to fill in that gap for content that the advertisers find acceptable and it's gonna be so saturated that people are gonna leave they're gonna have to leave that they don't have a choice right so first off we see that clickbait is making people have to act more and more dramatic and the inverse is happening with advertisers people want they they don't want people to be that controversial they want to you know have a tighter grasp on what people are allowed to upload and eventually we're going to reach a point where it's going to be unsustainable because too many people are going to leave so there's not going to be enough content the content that's on here is not going to be fun or interesting to the people who want the controversy uh and the advertisers are going to see that okay there's not that many people watching youtube anymore so like we can't tap into the demographics that we want it's not really worth it right if we assume that YouTube lives in its own vacuum and its own bubble, uh, you could say, well, yeah, but it's still owned by Google and they have, you know, millions and millions and hundreds of millions of dollars. So like you're an idiot, it's going to continue to grow and it's continued to be a thing. But the problem is it can't keep growing forever because there's a finite number of people who can consume the content. So what's going to end up happening inevitably, right? This is inevitably going to happen. I'm tell, I promise you this. It, it has to come to an end it's going to come to an end if you don't believe me just look at television right like just look at television T television companies and you know these giant media conglomerates are freaking out because no one is watching television and they're scrambling and they're making their netflix originals and they're posting stuff on youtube and they're building up their instagram follow they don't know what to do right they're freaking out because no one's watching tv anymore and they're trying to figure out new media as fast as they possibly can so if you don't think that you know if you think youtube is too big to fail just look at television okay that is what youtube is going to be so if we look into the future and we say okay logically speaking youtube is the next television there's already five years worth of evidence to prove that that's going to happen and it's happening quicker and quicker with every adpocalypse that we have and with every um you know clickbait title and thumbnail that come out that go that goes undelivered so what is the outcome what comes after youtube right that's that's the question what are we going to do after youtube well the first thing that we have to consider is that uh ad revenue is not sustainable we've already established this because giant corporations don't want to be involved in controversial content and unfortunately or you know fortunately for us people like controversial content it's it's entertaining right because our lives are mundane as it is people want to be entertained by something new and exciting and fresh and adventurous so you know you're not clicking on videos of watching paint dry right it's just you're not um so with that being said there needs to exist a platform where you can have controversial content and it's not relying on ad dollars because we've already the oil and water they don't mix we've already established that um you know one outcome could be companies could realize this and they can start funding it which i highly doubt that would happen because you know these big companies are ran by people far outside of the demographic consuming the content but regardless what needs to happen is a open source platform that is funded through cryptocurrency and i know that that is a very um that's kind of like an internet bro thing to say right like oh cryptocurrency is the future man it's like the totally like the next big thing you should totally start mining for coins with the get get litecoin and, and ethereum like i get how ridiculous that it sounds now in 2019 but there's already a platform readily available with my content on it called library it's i think it's spelled lbry yeah lbry.com and I don't really know much about blockchain. I don't really know much about cryptocurrency, 
but essentially what happens is that you download the platform to your computer and everybody who's a user has some form of the library currency which is effectively a cryptocurrency and you can use this currency to fund people who are posting their content on that platform so in a way the content creators on a platform that operates in that way are getting paid based on how many people are watching their content and how good it is right that's essentially what's happening over on that platform and what i think you know this library might not be the future right but they're they're kind of planting the seeds for what's coming um so essentially what's happening is we're going to have a platform where it's going it's going to be funded by the actual viewers without the viewers actually spending dollars so like without actually spending their own currency they're going to be able to i guess mine the cryptocurrency by having this platform on their machine and and that by by basically giving the content creator their watch time they're essentially giving them the equivalent of money and this is pretty much infinitely scalable uh, there's obviously many holes that you can poke in this theory but i do think it's the future i think it needs a lot of work i think it needs to be ironed out it has to be far more accessible and computers have to advance a lot more before this is a widely accepted thing by most of the world but it's the only alternative that i can see in the future um over the next 10 years or so maybe maybe 15 i really don't know how long youtube's gonna stay around obviously they like i said earlier they've got a ridiculous budget through uh through google so you know they're gonna last a long time but eventually it has to fail and i'm trying to piece together like what could possibly be the next thing and library is is testing those waters as an alternative to youtube so i believe and i'm still trying to figure out the platform but i believe i've put all of my videos on that platform so if you guys decide to check it out um i'll try and remember to put a link in the description below to head over there see what it's all about i don't think that it is in its current form i do not think it will take over youtube nobody is going to library before they're going to youtube right like point zero 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 one percent people might do that but i i really doubt that that's the future uh, I, that's not the near future i think that's the distant future but i wanted to make this video because it's a lot of theory but it, i'm kind of trying to predict the future what is next for content creation and based on the trends of advertisers and based on the trends of clickbait they don't mix and it's gonna be just once you know they're they're, they're butting heads and it's gonna crumble over time just like television did right so with that being said guys hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you found it somewhat entertaining or interesting and maybe you learned a little bit something uh, about youtube or library or something like that and i know i did a poor job explaining what library is but there's many resources out there where you can learn more about cryptocurrency and how library works if you are interested in that type of thing i believe they also explain it on their website pretty well uh and that's a bit it guys so thank you so much for watching um if you enjoyed make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video uh, drop a comment down below telling me what you think think about uh the future of youtube do you think i'm right am i wrong am i crazy let me know in the comment section below subscribe if you're new around here and that's a bit it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace